Hi. Before Thanksgiving, some uh, people had asked me about how to improve their technique and make their fingers a little bit quicker. Uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about one or two of the uh, techniques I use with some of my students. Now, some of you may know about the technique that I'm about to show you. I call it the long and short technique. Some people call it the uneven rhythm technique. Basically, what we're trying to do is when we are confronted with a technical passage, we want to exaggerate and make one note long and another note short so that we can start to feel that we can move our fingers quickly through some of the notes that we may have difficulty with. Now, for this example, I'm going to use a passage from the Saint-Saëns Sonata, from the first movement. In the middle of the sonata, <clears throat> we come across this. Just a simple uh, sequence of notes, but it causes some students uh, quite a bit of difficulty. Now, the way most people would do the uneven technique would be this way. We would set a metronome, of course, and we would do this. So we would do a long note followed by a short note, a long, a short, a long, a short, and then we would reverse that process. short, long, short, long. We could even do a long note followed by two short notes, a long note followed by three short notes, and so on. Or we could do the opposite. Two short notes and then a long note, three short notes and a long note. But lately, uh, I've found that I like to do things this way, which is a very, very long note followed by a note that's so short it's like a grace note. so on. This helps us in a few ways. The long note helps us feel that we can keep our air moving nicely and easily, quickly and with no interruption. The short note, by playing it so quickly as a grace note, shows us that we can move our fingers that fast. And it's important sometimes to prove to ourselves that we can do it. We can also reverse this, so we start on the short note and go to the long note. And so on. Now, one of my rules is that the long during the long note, we should think about the note that's coming up, and as soon as we're ready to play the short note, we should do it without thinking. Just move the fingers very, very quickly to the note. We should always be able to hear a, uh, a tone on each note, but it should be very, very fast. If we practice this way, then we can start to move t from the two extremes closer and closer and closer towards the middle, which is where we find the evenness of the passage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much.